and how's it? Um, I just I just wanted to know um, the the break, you know, um, mid the season um, and having played two competitions uh, in Europe, um, big changes obviously in the rugby calendar. What was it like to have a break in in this time of year? Um, and do you guys feel well managed? Uh, considering the two kind of teams you played in the Champions Cup and in the URC. Yes, uh, I said, um, yeah, it's uh, especially at December, January, um, say six weeks, seven week period was a was a pretty tough schedule for us. Um, so I, I think the 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 break was uh, was was very needed. Um, I think on a more mental aspect, um, I think it was uh, mentally was it also a tough two months, also uh, physical, physically. Um, but yeah, um, uh, I think it it will it will it will definitely um, bear its fruits late in the season. Um, so I think it was uh, was was great to have a break. You're you're in touching distance of a top four place again, very similar to last season where you needed a few results in the back end. Um, a victory against the Lions, especially with a bonus point, could see you guys in that top four. Is it something you you guys are pushing for again? And are you thinking about what you did last year around this time of the season? Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I think I spoke exactly about that point that you, you just mentioned now, um, that question um, this week with the guys. Um, <clears throat> I, I think... Uh, at this moment, we we have to focus on on this weekend's game. We we don't want to think about any playoffs or where we want to finish or anything about that. We just wanna wanna go out this weekend um, and put in a good performance um, to 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 give a good performance to the fans, um, to the to the whole franchise, and then to uh, ourselves as players. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I think uh, obviously. Always want to um, finish as high as possible on the lock, and uh, playoffs is always uh, vital for us. But I think this week we've 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 been just focusing on on um, really really getting stuck into this weekend and then thinking about nothing else. Last one for me, uh, Ruan. The Bulls going getting the record forty one thousand fans uh, against the Stormers. Um, you might get 20,000 this weekend if if everything goes according to plan um what what do you what do you think has um brought about this uh, sudden surge of interest in 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 you guys is um you know attendance i mean 40,000 you're looking at the heyday of super rugby days when when Victor Medfield and them were still were still playing what do you think it is that's that's bringing fans back yeah, um, uh, it's, it's 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 awesome. It's awesome to be a part of it. It's it's awesome to run out in front of forty thousand people. Um, so special. Um, and uh, yeah, I can only thank the fans for coming out. Um, and uh, I think at the end of the day, it's 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 the, all the effort put in behind the scenes. I would say um, the effort from the marketing team, um, from every everybody at the at the at the franchise, um, getting uh, good entertainment. Um, it's not always just the rapid that, that pulls the people in. It's uh, all the different stuff going around the stadium and, and everything happening happening around the stadium. So I think um, <clears throat> it's all credit to 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 the whole whole franchise as a whole, not just as for the players. Um, uh, obviously, the last few months um, our performances has not been that great. So um, yeah, we just hope to 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 put in a good performance to to. To uh, let the people keep keep coming, um, and I also think sometimes, um, especially this uh, SA20 cricket, I think it was so good for South Africa, and for people to 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 see how amazing it is to to get uh, big crowds uh, to to sporting events. So uh, I don't know if that maybe also had an impact to to see the joy it brings and and, and uh, how fun it is. So yeah, I think it's uh, a lot of lot of aspe aspects that could. Could be linked to it. Ruan, you have in the end of the year aangesteld and aangeneem that Akko is that you have a op pad, op pad op je einde, wat, wat toen a few was, 
Um, het jylle min of meer weer as self ingesteld het, uh, nou die laaste rit van die competitie, en help het, help het jylle in die mate dat jylle verlede jaar ook in een desperate situasie was, uh, in die opzicht. Ja, hy Kobus, uh, hoop het gaan goed met jou ook. Um, en, ja, ek denk, uh, dit, is maar, dit is maar die mentaliteit wat ons nou inneem. Um, ons het ons self in die positie gekry, so, ons, uh, vir ons is dit nou, Elke, elke game, soos ek nou nou ook vir, vir Cebu gesê het, uh, ons vat elke naweek focus net op die naweekse game. Um, dus voor ons uh, uitspeelwedstrijd, as ons in die top 4 wil eindig, kan ons enige slip op sê nie. Um, so ja, ek, uh, ek denk het uh, is nou automatisch voor ons, um, soos uitspeel, uitspeel rond, rond is, um, non-stop. Net vir jou persoonlijk, uh, Roan, is uh, om alweer eens groot jaar, is wel tegen jaar, is dit iets wat maar die achterkop is, is een oude opdracht? Ja, nee, ek, uh, um, obviously, ek het, ek het laatst jaar, um, bykie die gevoel gekry, um, en het was, uh, was ongelooflik, en, um, ek, uh, mens sal altyd, aspireer, en, en so hard as moeilijk werk en speel, om wat te wees, um, maar, um, ja, mens respecteer ook die, die, en verstaan ook die ouwens, waar al is op die oomlik, um, groot karakters en, en, en ongelooflike um, spelers. Um, so vir my is dit net um, <coughs> om uh, so hard as moeilijk te werk, um, goeie performances in te sit en uh, ja, die, uh, ek voel altyd dinge gebeur soos het moet um, en uh, ja, ek, ek voel uh, as die tyd, tyd recht is, dan, dan, dan sal dinge kom na jou kant toe. So ja, ek, ek denk, uh, ja, mens, mens um, jy wacht jou tyd uit. Just one question, the, the 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 success of the season usually was you must win every game and that, that changed a lot with the new systems and the new competitions and everything. Um, what would you see as a successful season? Um, yeah, Carl, um, I think uh, at, at the end of the day, a, a successful su- su- uh, season is um, when you've grown and uh, the most important thing, if you if you win games and and, and you you at the at the back end of the competition, you're still in it. Um, that's where we want to be. We want to be in that in that playoffs and then yeah, like last year, we we always try to be in that in the final and then to go go all the way. And that will, will always be our our aim and goal. Um, so yeah, I think you successful season is view is when you can lift that trophy at the end of the season. Um, but yeah, also when you when you're realistic, um, uh, we just want to be, we want to be better, um, and by being better and growing, we we can give ourselves uh, opportunity to be there at the back end of the competition. Hi, Rowan. Um, me again. Just about um, your your head coach, I guess uh, Jake White, the director of rugby. You know, coming back, um, he seems the more. I don't know, more reflective in, in what he said about life and rugby. You know, did he seem any any different when he came back? You know, we know how serious the health scare he had. Um, and then on top of that, also welcoming Spoon Gossi back, you know, what is what is what did that do for the spirit of the of the team? Those those two people uh, reintegrating in into the team. Yeah, um, obviously uh, Coach Jake um uh, yeah, he, he's also been through a through a tough tough time the last two months. Um, yeah, obviously being close close to to death. Um, yeah, I, I I obviously think that whenever you you in that situation, you 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 obviously get a bit of a scare, and and, and you you realize it's much much more in life than than, than just happy. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't say uh, Coach Jake changed massively in a in a competitive way. Um, but yeah, he, 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 he he's a bit more calm, he brings more calmness over us and and and, and um yeah uh, uh, he will always be competitive. Um, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't I don't really know what to say uh, exactly, but yeah, coach coach Jake is coach Jake and and, and, and we, we will always always back him. And um and then on Cebu, uh, yeah obviously um, it's an inspiration to have him back, and and, and yeah, we, we all know 
he's been been through a tough time, and yeah, you know, like like we talk, um, the whole team talked. Um, a lot of us don't know at all what he's been through. Um, so for us, um, he, it's no one f of us can judge him. We can only support him. And yeah, obviously at the Bulls, we we try to try to be a, as close family as possible. And then I think for us, it's just to to support him all the way and 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 um, just be that that guy um, he can rely on and 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 always know he can speak to. Um, and yeah, obviously. Um, he's a he's awesome character. He brings a lot of passion. Um, so yeah, it's 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 really awesome to have him back. Uh, final one, I promise this time, Ruan. Um, the 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 team you're facing this weekend, the Lions. You know they faced a bit of turmoil um, inside their camp last week. You played the Stormers. We know Western Province rugby has been in the news of the field. You know these teams are very tricky to play against because people ex think that on the field is going to be a reflection of what's happening off the field. But as we see with the Stormers, they're nothing like what they union. You guys are more stable. Do you guys pay any attention to, you know, the, what happens off the field when you go and face teams that are in, in off-field turmoil? Do you think it's going to affect the game at all on Saturday? Um, no, Sabu, I, I think we as, we as players, um, we are we are at the union to play rapi. Um, I think when 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 we start to to worry about what's what's going on outside that that, that we we at, at the wrong wrong place and, and thinking the wrong stuff. Um, I think for us it's just important to to focus on what we can control. And um, yeah, I think it's the same. Uh, if you look at the stormers, they um, they uh, the great great bunch of a group bonding together, good culture, and and that's why they 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 putting in good performances, and and they are where they are. And um, same with the Lions, it's a it's a lot of character at the Lions. Still, also a young team, um, they, they are growing, um, and yeah, you can see they 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 are getting better and better. And then yeah, for us, it's it's um, it's never been easy playing against the Lions. Um, we always know it's it's a tough game, and we 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 expecting nothing less this weekend. Thanks, Rod. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot.